Welcome to the warm-up presented by U.S. Plastic Store. We're at the Buffalo Wild Wings in Alima to talk a little Bath Wildcat football. I'm Mark Koontz, joined now by head coach Bill Garland. And Bill, entering your second year as Bath's head coach, you feeling more in tune with what you need to get done here? Uh, well, definitely, Mark. You know, last year I was named head coach in April, so we had a, kind of a short turnaround before we started our summer conditioning, our camp days, and, you know, going right into the two days of our season. You know, this year, we, uh, it's two weeks after our season, and we were already talking about what we wanted to do next year, especially on the defense side of the ball. So we feel we're more well-prepared and ready to go and how we want to go forward with the program. Looking back to last year, 4-6, four 4-5 and six, four and five in the Western Buckeye League. Did you see growth throughout the season last year from the Wildcats? It, uh, definitely. Uh, you know, we started out slow. Um, you know, we were 0-4 out of the gate, but the kids stayed, uh, stayed the course, stayed on schedule with what we wanted to do, and... Uh, you know, we was able to win three in a row at one point. Um, you know, took a took a lumping over at Kenton, but then came back with Elida, who, you know, we know the success that Jason's had over there, and we was able to get him at home. And we thought that was kind of a turning point in our program, a big win for us and stuff. And uh, at that point, put us four and four in the league and had a chance when we went over to week 10 to beat Ottawa, and that would put us at a winning record at WBL, something that we hadn't done for 10 years. We came up short. But at least we give ourselves a chance to get that win and try to get over the hump. So that, that's a major point we've been talking to the kids this year is getting over the hump. Heralded class of seniors graduated last year, but just like every year, there's a new group ready to take over. Take us through the lineup a little bit. Who are you expecting out of the, this new group of seniors for the Wildcats? We, we, we got 13 seniors, and I'll tip my hat to those kids. They've worked real hard in the offseason as a group. Most of them have been in all of our conditionings. Uh, the kids run the seven-on-sevens so while the coaches sit in the stands and watch. And, and they've been all in. Um, we, we did a leadership class in the all season if you wanted to be a captain. And uh, 10 of those kids wanted to be a captain. And they participated in that. And even though you weren't voted a captain, you still went through that class and got a lot of valuable things that you can apply to us getting better leadership from our kids. But, you know, looking at our offensive line, we'll start there. We got four starters back. Mm -hmm. uh, Cody Tolan's the center. He started 10, nine games for us last year. He missed a game. So we feel we're pretty solid there with experience. Blake Magoo will come back. He'll be kind of an anchor on the offense line. He'll be our strong tackle. He'll be his third year starting for us. Um, tight end Garrett Metcalf, he started up there last year. Um, he's got 10 games under her belt. Uh, I'm, trying to, um, I'm forgetting somebody in there, but <laughs> Easton Rudisil. Okay. Sorry about that, Easton. Uh, hey, Easton started last year as a right, sophomore sure. for us. He got hurt week six, uh, but he's got six games under his belt. So we feel that our experience offensively is up front. Uh, Cam Jenkins returns at quarterback and started all 10 games, played almost every snap. And, and you talk to anybody coaches quarterbacks, that's, those 10 games are very valuable to have. Um, those kind of seniors, Corey Briggs at wide receiver. Um, you know, Corey's one of our faster kids and works very hard. Um, also Trey Wheeler over there, Austin Loft been getting some reps. Um, in our backfield, all those guys are back. Uh, Bo Gross, uh, Chase Clark, uh, Kyle Lehman. Dylan Burkholder and uh, Caden Sullivan Southmore. So we got a lot of experience back on the offense side of the ball. You know, certainly quarterback's been a strength, a position of strength in the Western Buckeye League. It seems like last year there were some younger quarterbacks, including Cam. Now he's back experienced. As you touched on, that makes a world of difference when you have that full year of experience at the quarterback position. Oh uh, yeah, you know, you know, the game moves so much faster at every level you go to. You know, you go from playing JV a sophomore year, playing varsity, and it, everything just moves faster and. You know, we ask more of him. You know, our offense is a little, there's a lot more plays, a lot more passing uh, routes, those kind of things involved. And he really understands our offense and knows where we want the ball to go and when to go and does a good job at that. Return seven starters on offense, also return seven starters on defense. Yeah, we got a lot of guys back on defense side of the ball. You know, we'll start inside our nose guard and tackle position. Uh, Tyler Shaw, um, Kyle Lehman at nose, um, uh, uh, Lenny Miles, those three guys in the middle there. Uh, Tyler Schaub's going to play what most people consider a defensive end. He's a junior, and he'll be a three-year starter there, so we expect a lot out of him. Uh, Easton Rudiso also will get some downs at defensive end for us. Uh, the group that I feel really good about, uh, we have three linebackers. Uh, Jared Davis will play our will. He's a kid who's played a lot of football for us. Bo Gross is sophomore. He started our Mike linebacker. He's back again. And Dylan Burkhorter, who's a kid who really physically changed his body with a lot of effort in our weight room and conditioning program. He'll play our Sam. Our secondary, Trey Wheeler, is the only guy back back there. He's going to be a four-year starter, uh, so we'll look for him to be the leader and the anchor back there um, at one of the corners. 
Um, the other corner, Corey Briggs, will get some uh, reps out there. Man, he's right now our starting corner. And then in the back, uh, there are safeties. You got um, Luke Nebel, a uh, guy that had to sit out there because of injury, but he's back, ready to go. He's worked very hard in the offseason. Ryan Kalb and Chase Clark will get some reps back there too. So we, we got 14 guys that played a lot of downs for us on the ball last year. Final scrimmage coming up this weekend, taking on Ontario. Your, your former boss, Chris Miller, now the AD out there. How have the scrimmages gone? What are you trying to get out of this one last scrimmage? Well, you know, our first two scrimmages have been approached. Yeah, we just kind of ran. We scripted our plays offensively and ran everything just to evaluate, uh, take a look at everything we're doing stuff. Uh, we had Delphi St. John's first, and I felt pretty good coming out of that scrimmage. Our kids were physical, you know. They did it, you know, no, I think we had one turnover, but, but they were aggressive, they hit, they played hard, and those kind of things you can't teach sometimes, and they got to do those things. Uh, the second scrimmage, uh, I thought our defense stayed on schedule, and they're where we expect them to be right now. We weren't, weren't as happy offensively. The kids know that. It's no secret. Uh, we didn't do the things uh, that I thought we'd do in that second scrimmage. So maybe we didn't progress as much as I wanted to. And uh, that's what we're looking for Friday. Uh, I think our defense is going to be OK. Uh, when I watch film, we see a lot of five to seven guys around the football a lot. Um, that's been a point of emphasis with our coaching staff and our players for this program to take another step. Our defense has got to have on the defense side of the ball. Offensively, we'll look for progress, uh, better pass blocking, better run blocking, uh, you know, picking up extra yards after first hit, uh, do a better job catching the ball. We really struggle with that at our second scrimmage with Delphi Jefferson. All right, thank you very much, head coach Bill Garland from the Bath Wildcats. Need to take a break here in the U.S. Plastic Store Warrant from Buffalo Wild Wings. When we come back, Patrick Kamler will join us as he talks with some of the Wildcat players here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up show, sponsored by U.S. Plastics. I'm Patrick Gambler, joined with a couple of Bath Wildcats. With me, I've got Blake McGue and Tyler Shobe. Guys, thanks for joining us. Coming into the season, and I'll start with you, what specifically have you guys been working on to get ready for week one? Um, we're pretty much just working harder than we did last year and trying to improve. The weight room was really successful for us. We had a lot of guys step up when we needed to, a lot of underclassmen and We've been trying to just push each other as hard as we can this year. Tyler, what about you? I think mostly we've just been conditioning a lot harder than in the past. I think our team's really coming together a lot better than it has years in the past, and we have a great team chemistry this year. You've got seven starters returning on both sides of the ball. Has that helped with getting the team back up to speed and being able to kind of you know, teach the new guys the system and all that stuff? Has that been easier with so many guys coming yeah, back? Yeah, it's a lot of experience on both sides of the ball. It's really easier to get through practice and keep the same pace going and it, with the same pace it helps practice go a lot smoother. You're a senior, you're a junior, so you've got a little different perspective than a lot of the seniors we bring on here. How have you seen the senior leadership on this team really stepping up and, and getting the younger guys ready to go? I think it's a lot different than in years past because instead of there just being four captains, I think all the seniors are acting as leaders this year. So that's really helping out with the underclassmen as developing into great football players in the future. As you guys finished up last season, four and six overall, what did you guys learn from last season and how have you applied that to what you're doing this year so far? We need to work harder and we need to come together as a team and we can't waste any days and on the practice field. We, we gotta get better every day. Is that in response specifically to, to how it was last year? I mean, was there, were there some lapses in concentration, things yeah, like that throughout last year? Yeah, last year? We had some inexperience on both sides of the ball. We were young last year and this year, we're stepping it up, and we're coming ready to practice, and we're getting better. How do you guys feel about it? Because you guys are both linemen, so you're going to be in the trenches there a lot throughout the season. How is that? Are you guys gelling together? I mean, how is that, how is that working? Are you guys really coming together as a unit? Yeah, we're, we're pretty together because last year it's pretty much the same seven guys up front that we have had. So we're coming together, I think. Awesome. Real quick, what game are you looking for forward to the most? I'll start with you and then you. LCC. LCC? All right, what about you? Elida. Elida? LCC and Elida. That makes sense. A couple of Bath Wildcats, guys. Thanks for being with us. When we come back, we'll talk to some more Wildcats as the warm-up show moves on right here on WOSN.
Welcome back to the warm-up show sponsored by U.S. Plastics. We're here at Buffalo Wild Wings as we talk to a few more Bath Wildcats. With us right now is Cam Jenkins and Luke Nebel. Guys, thanks a lot for coming. Hey, it's a crazy night here. <laughs> thanks for joining us, guys. No yep. problem. Thank you. Cam, I'm going to start with you. What is the um, What are you going to be looking to do offensively this year that maybe you were – uh, that made the bath really struggle with last year. What are you guys going to tweak for this year? Well, uh, we lost uh, a lot of skill guys last year. You know, Colin Gossard, Eric Hefner, Hayden Atkins, our top three receivers. So this year we're really going to have to step up, running the ball, you know, pick it up. A lot of uh, returning starters in the O-line. So hopefully we'll be able to run the ball a little better. Luke, what have you been working on, and you personally, what have you been working on the most to get ready for this upcoming season? Um, most I've been working on is staying healthy because I've been injured in the past. So working hard in the weight room, staying healthy, getting my body right. Just very excited. What do you guys feel like you've done right this year heading into the season that might have been lacking from last season? I think we've definitely uh, hit the weight room a lot harder this past summer and in the winter starting in November right after the season ended so far two days and practice has been a lot harder than it has been in the past so I think it should help. The, ma the majority of our senior class we went through a leadership class throughout the spring just um, learning with our defensive back coach like, how to lead right how to get people on board and get the whole, full team going so I think that'll help a lot that'll show we'll have just because we're the captains I mean we still have lots of leaders in all of our senior class and some juniors so. Leadership has been talked a lot about a lot with you guys. Has that really been a focal point on something that has had to be brought up to get you guys ready for football season since you started in the off season last year? Oh yeah, I would say so. Our coaches have emphasized that since this, since the spring when we were doing seven on sevens during baseball season. Coach Rindell, our uh, defensive back coach, and Coach Garland both are just they're very are stressing leadership a lot in our senior class and our juniors. So. You guys have got quite a few tough games on your schedule. Actually, three of your first four are pretty tough. But when I ask you guys, you and then you, what are the game? What's the one game you're looking forward to the most on your schedule? Uh, probably else. Uh, not LC, I'm sorry. Elida. Elida was one of the big games last year. Uh, like we practice was a lot different that week than it was any other week. I mean, we it just felt different going into that game. You just knew you were going to win. There's no doubt. And what about you, real quick? I mean, we're, we're looking forward to Elida, but right now I think we're just mainly focusing on LCC and winning our opener, just taking it one step at a time. That's a great answer. Coach would be proud. Guys, thanks a lot for joining us. That's going to do it for the warm-up show, sponsored by U.S. Plastics. For Mark Coots, I'm Patrick Kamler. We'll see you next time.